morning everybody. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you could join me today. I am working on a design team project for my porch prints and this is using the kit Shabby Purple Loaded Folio Insert Kit and I want to just very quickly flip through what you received with us and what we're going to make. So this kit, as you can see, aren't the colors fabulous? This, as soon as I spotted this, I was so drawn to it. You've got pockets. You've got these big pieces to create a folio. Now, I'm not going to do the project um, as Stephanie designed it. I thought it would be fun to show you another way to use this, so that way you, um, you'll have a couple of ideas uh, in which you can use this kit. So I'm going to set this to the side. It's, a, it's got a lot of ephemera with it, um, which is always great because you can use those in other projects. So it's a really, really nice kit. Okay, so this is what I've made. I've made an envelope mini journal. And this ends up measuring about four and a half by six and a quarter. You know I like to work in the smaller um, spaces. And so this is what I've ended up making. I've sewn in some pages um, and then there's the back. So let's just go through this and, and we're going to make this project today. So on the top, the front cover, I've made this nice big journal card and that tucks into this pocket here. open this up and we've got another tag from the kit that tucks behind the coin envelope. And this is a um, gusseted envelope so you've got a lot of room there that you can add um, you know bits of ephemera, maybe a little private note. I think this is just the perfect um, project for Happy Mail that you could include some beautiful, um, you know, your um, maybe some tabs. Well, you know, just in just the things that you would send in a happy mail. And then I just kept this very simple and added. Um, oops, that didn't. Um, some papers. This is like old Edith Holden book page, and then this is some beautiful um, coffee dyed paper. So I've kept this very simple so that you could do some writing, but then the main thing is all of the little pockets and, and journal cards. And as I said, this is all from the same kit. And then I've just, um, you know, resized some things here and there. Another pocket here with a tag. And then we've got a large journal card here, and on the back I've used one of the side pockets to hold these bits of ephemera. And then on the back here, this is one of the pockets from the kit. Um, and I've just used it this way so that I can have a journal card there. So there's quite a bit of writing space, but I think this is going to be nice if you wanted to just put it in your pocketbook or a little gift for maybe a teacher or a friend who's who's got a birthday coming up. I just think it's really sweet. And it all comes from just two envelopes. So let's just get started. So you could adapt this to any size envelope. Um, the only thing I would say, the kit comes with some back background papers. You're going to want to kit, uh, print the kit out and then the background papers. I've done about three of this design and then I had printed one sheet of the, the purple background so that I could add um, to the back, you know, to back it with. So you'll want to do that, and then the kit, of course, and you will have some bits from the kit left over that you can you can go back and then and create the original project with. 
<clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do, you've probably seen these done before, you're just going to tuck the, the flap of the envelope inside. And like I said, you could do this as a smaller version or you could certainly go larger, but I, I really like this size. And I'm actually just going to put a little bit of glue on the flap that's going to go inside. Just because when we put the tag through there, you don't want it catching on that. So, so be sure that you, um, you glue that flap down as well. So this is going to be our front cover, and then the first thing you're going to want to do is just snip off about an eighth of an inch on the, um, the front cover. And I'm just going to take it to the uh, center there and stop. just going to snip that. So, you know, it will, you will see the background, but it's actually nice because you've got the tab there, so it kind of gives a bit more layering. And then this one, we're going to snip off this side so that we've got a top pocket, and then this one is going to form a side pocket. And then these are the areas that we're going to take those background papers and cover. going to be four and a quarter by six. And let me go ahead and get these cut as well. And this one was just, a, I think, an eighth of an inch larger I went. So, six and an eighth. Four and an eighth. Your sizes might be different if you're using a, a, you know, a different size envelope. So that's the reason I'm not really calling out the measurements. Um, I always like about a, a quarter of an inch um, border around, So, but you might want less or more. And let me see if I can get another one cut here, guys. I've got some scrap papers. I'm going to try to use some, but So I hope everybody's keeping well. <clears throat> what have you guys all been up to? It's been a while since I've been on, and I apologize for that. Um, we 
have had to do a house move. I think I may have mentioned then that, that in a previous video. And so that's been keeping me really busy trying to get things organized. And as you can imagine, my studio is in a complete upheaval at the moment. And it still is <laughs> because I don't have a, a desk to work on yet. Uh, my sewing machine is actually on the dining room table. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's a challenge to, to get anything <coughs> created, but I'm making it little by little. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and get these down. Actually, I'm going to use glue stick on this front one. I think I can get away with it. Sometimes I really don't like working with that, uh, the glue sticks. It's more difficult to move it around. But I'm trying to, um, to get through them before they dry out. Okay, some of these are slightly bigger. Yep, let me make sure I've got these. So this one goes here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just put a little dollop of glue to hold the corners down, right? Because we'd snip that top off. And then what I do, you don't want to close this pocket. So I just, I know this is going to go down that way. So I put a bead of glue along this one. And go along the sides here. And then over here, I just try to come in about a quarter of an inch. And then I just kind of fill it in here. And that will stop it from, <clears throat> you know, gluing off that pocket. I know a lot of people like to have their pockets formed from this portion. I don't like it because I don't find it's easy to um, to get things in and out and particularly since we turned this into a, a mini journal you're going to have your papers there. So I can show you better on this one but by doing that you've kept all of this free. Um, so do think about that when you're when you're gluing these down. And the same over here I've just done it. I can't believe I've just sat there and done it. I'm sorry, guys. I was just thinking about the heating is on in here, and I'm absolutely boiling. And I'm trying to think, when can I get a breaking point to go turn down the heating? And I've sure enough done what I told you guys not to do. Do not do that. <laughs> Let me get this off with a little bit of uh, tissue. So... Do as I say, not as I do. Oh, boy. This is why I've got to be focused. Focus, focus, Gina. making sure that <clears throat> none of that glue closes that off. Okay, and then this one on the back, and then we can start doing all of the little fun things. 
it's the embellishing that I, I like. And I like, you guys know, I like sewing in the signature. I really like that part because that's when it really, well, that's when it becomes the journal, doesn't it? Once you start, you get this, the signature sewn in. I don't know, it just, it's very um, fulfilling to get that portion of a journal done. Okay guys, let me go stop at this point and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm going to leave the front cover to last. Um, sometimes I do that. Uh, but we are now going to work on the little coin envelope. You probably know how to do this. Um, I'm sure many of you have done that um, you know, time and time again. For this size that I'm working in, which is a... Um, six and a quarter by a four and a half envelope. I've decided on a three and a quarter. And what I've done is I just printed out on an A4. <clears throat> I took off the white edging and just um, cut that down to three and three quarter. So it's three and three quarter by about 11 inches. Now, if the white is going to bother you, then back this paper um, with something. It's It doesn't bother me because it's closed, um, so I'm actually okay with that. But, but if it bothers you, that's something you want to think about. And I'm going to go ahead and round my corners. I'm so sorry. Daisy um, is able to see out the front door here. <laughs> And, oh, she's going nuts these days, guys. So I do apologize for that. She's uh, deaf, so it won't do me any good to try to scold her. Bless her heart, she wouldn't hear it. So I'm just going to get this folded up, and then I'm going to get our little closures added before we... Add the gusset. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love it. I like how that fell. The, isn't it funny? It just sometimes the design just seems to work perfectly. That's nice. Okay, so I've punched out um, on some of the heavy uh, craft cardstock two one inch circles. And let me go ahead and ink these up a bit. It's always a step that I seem to forget is the inking. And then afterwards I think, oh, why didn't I do that? So I'm trying to get better about uh, remembering these steps, guys. I just tend to get in a hurry um, because I know I've got things going on here that i got to be done for and I don't want to end up getting caught with somebody ringing the doorbell, but I guess that's just life, isn't it? Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to do these a little bit different in that I've got the jumbo eyelets, and uh, these are, we are memory keepers, so if you guys are wondering where you can purchase those, that's, that's where you can get them. And I'm just going to take my crocodile and try to center. I'm terrible about getting anything center. I'm just going to punch through that. I hope I've got that center. It really shows after you've done it. But um, and I, because yesterday when I was making the first one of these, I um, forgot to do this until I had already added my gusset and got it all glued and I was like, oh, how did you forget that, Gina? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a different punch for this. there. 
here, I think. So hopefully I can reach. Nope, that's not going to reach either. Okay. Well, that's that. I'm going to have to move it up further. Hoping that that's not going to get, it is going to get covered. Okay. I'm going to have to just tweak this slightly. Okay. So let me get that set. I'll Zoom you guys up a bit. I'm so afraid I'm going to go out of the camera range here. Isn't it funny? It all feels, it's like, it's almost like I, uh, this is the first video I've ever done because I'm, my space is just not organized and um, everything feels new. <laughs> so I do apologize if this is kind of a, uh, Coming across a bit um, disjointed. I don't mean for it to, but I guess I'm just um, struggling to get get my space all back and get back into the flow of um, the flow of doing the journal. Uh, I mean videos because it's. Uh, no, I just, everything feels really off at the moment. But hopefully I'll have everything back organized. Um, I'm hoping by the end of next week. Alright, so I am just going to tone this down a little bit. Because it is pretty stark. But as I said, um, the next one I will, I will make sure that I back the paper. Because she gives you two designs. So it would be really pretty to have the contrast. Um, and to be honest, if my sewing machine wasn't downstairs, I'd probably just go ahead and stitch a back into it. But I'm not going to do it just for the purpose of um, of this, this tutorial. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do, I've cut these at um, three and a half by two inches. And I've just scored with my scoring board at a half an inch increments. And this is going to create the little gusset for the coin envelope. And I make sure that I've got the design facing outward so that you're not going to see that white. You don't want to see that. And just line that up to your edge there. And the same thing on the other side. And then now we can glue this shut. And um, we're going to create a pocket behind this as well when we get it glued down. So
and then we're just going to tie a little charm at the bottom. And I'm going to just glue it on three sides so that we've got a pocket behind that we can add one of the tags from the kit to. Now if you're interested in this kit, there will be a link below in the description box. I'm sure you all are familiar with Stephanie at My Porch Prints on Etsy. But maybe you haven't been to her shop for a while and, and, and this little kit, somehow you missed it. So I will put it there and you can go check it out. Okay, so we've got a nice place to hold quite a few journal um, cards inside there. Or like I said, I think it would be fun to do some die cuts and add to that and send it out as happy mail to somebody. How fun would that be? I love to receive die cuts um, because it really shows me I mean I don't you know most of us only have a limited amount of dies and it's just so nice to get something that maybe you don't own and the fact that gosh you know how much effort somebody's put into um, to cutting out those for you so it's it's just kind of a a really special thing to receive I think. Okay so on the front here we're gonna leave that but we need to make a nice big journal card for the inside and I've cut this at four by six and so we are just going to add let me see what we got here. Isn't that image beautiful? We're gonna use the October and then I took some of the scraps that we've got left over along with some old uh, music sheet that I've got and we're just going to make a really pretty little card here. And this is my tearing ruler. I know you guys are going to ask me about this. Um, it, I don't know if it's available in the U.S. or not. Um, I know at one point it was really difficult to get there, but um, I no longer <coughs> have a... Uh, Amazon affiliate store, so uh, you would just have to do a search for a metal tearing ruler. So let's get this glued down. Oh, actually, I will put just a little bit of paper. I've got loads of it left, so let's just go ahead. Put a bit of that over here. Um, any of you out there know where I could purchase a sheet of 
the tiny labels, but I want them to all be in shades of purple. Um, a digital, of course, because I've searched and searched, and oh my goodness, how many shops are there on Etsy now? <laughs> so many. <laughs> And uh, I just haven't run across anything that I, I want to be able to get a digital download of just lavender and purple framed um, labels. Uh, hang on, guys. I'm sorry. I've got to answer the door. Okay, guys. I'm really sorry about all the interruptions and the noise today. I... Uh, it just can't be helped, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to distress it a little bit. You know, I don't go too heavy on, on that. But And I want to get a tab out of some of this extra paper I've got. Okay, so we know this is a <clears throat> top-loading pocket, so I'm just going to put this on the top here. And we'll just ink around the back a little bit. Okay, so let's get a little eyelet and a charm. So I've got a little bulb pin, a butterfly, and just a little snippet of lace. A lot of um, people ask me, oh my goodness guys, I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to pause it again. <coughs> Apologies again guys. Oh, okay, so, oh I really like the butterfly. That's pretty, I might swap that other one for that. Alright, so we've got that ready. And that can go in the front pocket that we created. done. We're going to sew in our signature there. So now we're on to the back cover. We're just going to add two of the elements from the kit. And I've trimmed them down so that they are the same size. I just think it looks a bit nicer. And then I'm just going to add, take my circle punch and just notch it out slightly. And let's ink those up. I love the colors in this kit. I think this is just beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and actually start inking some of this journal as well.
Yeah, Stephanie's got several in these shades of purple, and I've got, um, I think I've got everything except she's got one pages that go with this kit. I think it's a junk journal kit, and I don't have that one yet, but I love Excuse me, I love the um, the purple kits that she does. Just beautiful. Okay, so what I've done for um, these little pockets is I just took her tag kit and I... These are big tags, and I've just done two to a sheet so that I could add a couple of little small ones here for this project. I'll just get a couple of these cut out, added, and then we can move on to the next portion. <clears throat> it's a really quick <clears throat> project. It takes me longer, obviously, because I'm, uh, well, number one, you're, you're kind of working in an awkward position when you're doing the videos, but it, honestly, yesterday, it didn't take me very long at all to... Uh, to make one of these so it, it's going to be great for popping in for some happy mail. some Irish thread on these and then we are good to go. And you could embellish this as much as you wish to. I tend to not heavily embellish things because um, if it's going into the mail as happy mail, it will increase your postage costs. So that's why I tend to try to keep things quite flat on the front here. It, it's, you know, because you can flatten that down and it shouldn't be too bad to ship. But obviously, if you're going to give this to somebody in person, you could add loads of flowers and lace on that front. And it, it's just a beautiful kit, isn't it? Okay, so now let's see what we've got. On this journal card, I have used this image here. And again, I've cut out a four by six. So let me grab um, some music sheet.
Okay, just the same sort of thing. We're, we're just going to tear around this image and collage a little journal card. If I knew where my labels were, I would dig through and see if I could find something that would coordinate. Where are they though? Gosh, I don't know guys. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ah, I must get organized. It's driving me bonkers. But yeah, I really think a um, a label would break that up beautifully, but I'll have to add that later, I think. Um, ugh, it's just, uh, I'm trying to stay really calm and say, okay, Gina, it, it'll all be back in order soon, but I, I, I do not like clutter and things out of place, and this has been weeks now. Um, so it's kind of wearing thin, but hopefully if it all goes to plan, which it probably won't, um, maybe next by the end of next week I should have everything the way I want it to be. So I might actually, I don't know, but I might do a um, studio uh, remodel on my Patreon channel. I've been considering that, um, so I, that might be something that I'm going to do uh, when everything arrives, so I don't know, just have to see. I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to look at um, the craft room, um, other people's craft rooms. I love watching videos on that. Um, I never see any really small, I'm going to have to cut that down a little bit more. I never see any really small ones. There are all these fabulous rooms and I always tell Paul, I'm like, oh, I, <laughs> I don't know where these people live that have these big rooms. I mean, they're massive, but oh, aren't they beautiful? You just think, oh, what would it be like? to work in a space that size where you're not constantly tripping over yourself and <laughs> digging under piles to look for something. I couldn't even imagine um, walking into one like that and, and just having all of the counter space to just spread out. But you know, I do think even, even if you did have that, I bet you would still struggle. I'll bet the truth be known, they probably still run out of space. Because the more we have, the more we seem to want or need. Isn't it crazy how it works? But let me just add a little bit of this down here. And, you know, when you watch them, of course they're not going to show you when it's all messed up, but I do wonder sometimes, do you guys wonder if they actually even create anything in those? Sometimes I think maybe they, maybe that is their thing, is just their space. <laughs> um, I, I am curious about that, if they actually even um, make anything or not, or if that's just something, you know, they keep pretty just to walk in and enjoy. I don't know. Okay. Enough talking. I'm going to put this one off center a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like that better, actually. Okay, again, let me get another little tab for this one.
actually I meant to put this tab under this. Let me see if I can pull it up. Just enough to get this under. I meant to do that last on the last one here because it covers it and I didn't like that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and again, we'll add another little charm. Let me just ink the back slightly. Okay, guys, we are coming along with this. And then the back, we've just got this, which is already done for us. Thank you, Stephanie, for doing that. Okay, I do want to share um, something, a little tip with you guys. You might be noticing... A little different shade. The reason being, I've got cream cardstock and I've mistakenly bought that and I've got three big bundles of it so I'm trying to use it up. So my things that I printed on my cardstock are coming off on cream so there's a slight difference. This has been printed on white paper but the reason I've chosen this for the back these were both on white paper and it's not going to stand out as much as if I had to put this in here, you see, you would see that contrast more. But the other thing is I'm just going to tone it down a bit with the, the ink just to just make it blend slightly more and it being on the back here. So that's just a little tip I wanted to share with you guys because you might be in the same predicament I'm in and you think, oh... Because they will, it will change the way something looks. Um, it prints out beautifully on both. It's just a bit more um, aged if you print it on that cream cardstock. So purely whatever kind of look you're going for. I'd say it's a bit more clean if you go with white. Um, but they're both beautiful. So this is one of the envelopes that that Stephanie's made for this kit and I love it. I love that image. So we're just going to tone that down slightly. So I did want you guys to know that that's not anything in the printing of it. It's um, it, it's me <laughs> trying to use up what, what I've got. Uh, it's just three of those. I can't afford to just not use them. So, just another little challenge that we have to. Uh, what would we do? What would we do if it all came easy? And I would say these kits are great for anybody who's just starting out. Um, she gives you beautiful instructions on how to complete the folio. Um, they're just, it's just really well thought through for anybody who is um, 
maybe new to crafting. Okay, and so I just added, uh, I doubled up some linen thread and just tied around that. Zoom back out a bit so you can see. And you don't have to do this, I just think it just adds a little bit more to it. Okay, and so now I'm just going to get that glued to the back. I'm not going to. You could leave, make another pocket if you choose to. I'm not going to because I feel like it's bulked out quite a lot anyways, considering this is going to be happy mail. And then for this one, I've just chosen this image. And so now, let me just add, uh, let me see what I've got in here on my stash. Just gonna staple this one. And so now guys, all we've got to do is the cover. This has been stitched around. I'm not gonna do it today just because as I said my sewing machine is not convenient. So I've just taken two more images, and we will ink around those so that they're a bit more aged looking. And I want to ink around the envelope. So now all we've got left is just to sew in our signature. So I've got a few pieces here. I cut these at eight by five and three quarter.
And I've only put, um, I've got four pages of tea dyed paper, and I'm just going to put a couple of these. These are old notebook papers. They're kind of yellow to them. Um, I'm just going to add those in between. Just to break it up a little bit. And then this. Oh, sorry, guys. I got told off the other day about <coughs> banging my tools around. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why I just did that. That needs to be it there. Um, yeah. Uh, you can't please them all, can you? So, yeah. Well, I, I know it is annoying, though, because a lot of people say they have to turn the volume up to hear me and... Of course, when I bang something, it, it startles them, so I am sorry about it, but I try my best. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and get this baby sewed in. And let me see how I'm doing on time. Uh, yeah, I better stop here, guys, and restart. I'm out of uh, space. Okay, guys, so to sew this in, I'm using the five pamphlet hole stitch. Just, uh, if you've got one of the Tim Holtz rulers, I highly recommend the, this. If you're just starting out in journal making, it will pay for itself time and time again. Just center that, and then <clears throat> at each inch, I've marked out five holes. Um, you would be better off, honestly, to watch a tutorial on YouTube for the five hole pamp stick because they will show you uh, up close how to do this. I'm not going to take the time because there are so many tutorials out there, guys. And I know I would not be able to um, add anything to what is out there. This is how I learned. I just taught myself through YouTube. And then as I got into it more <clears throat> and could justify it, I... I purchased some classes to build on those skills. Um, you've got to invest in yourself. You know, if you, if you want to get really good at something, and I've got so much to learn still, guys. I'm still, you know, I'm just as amazed at the creativity in the community, and it just inspires me so much um, to keep trying to improve upon you know, my basic skills. So I would encourage you to do that. Um, if it's something that you're enjoying, invest invest in some, some good courses. And my Patreon channel, um, I offer a lot of um, short courses. As well. So with the... Um, the paid subscription, you will get a lot of the techniques that I have purchased through uh, various <laughs> things that I've learned along the way. So it's not just um, it's not just watching me craft on my Patreon. It is um, I do a lot of series on uh, projects, and they're not always journal related. I most of them are journal related, but I do have some. Um, you know, different projects. I try to keep it mixed up so it's fresh. I don't know, yesterday's I seem to have sewn in so easily. I'm sorry if it's out of the camera, guys. As I said, just just go on YouTube and look, and you will find a lot of folks who have devoted their time to showing you how to do this. You could do the three-hole pamphlet or a five-hole. Either one's going to work. Five-hole, I would suggest, if you're doing anything with a lot of pages. This one, to be honest, this is kind of overkill. I could have got away with three-hole, but... Um,
but I'm just so accustomed to doing the five hole. Okay guys, there she is, she's in. Because I think this is nice for somebody, maybe somebody that doesn't uh, journal. So you could give this as a little gift or just, as I said, keep it in your pocketbook. You could come back, do some stamping. You could fill this out as much as you want. Now because this is pretty flat. You don't have to bother with a belly band if you don't want to. Um, but if you do, just add a couple of eyelets with some seam binding. Or you could create a belly band to go over it to hold it together. But the belly band doesn't really allow for you to be able to expand. Um, just think, keep that in mind. But there you go guys, that is our little project using the My Porch Print um, kit. I love it, love it, love it. I cannot wait to do the folio. Um, so I'm going to start working on that one next. So I apologize again for all of the interruptions and <clears throat> noise. <laughs> coming from here I it's a, it's like a bit of a construction site around us at the moment and so you've got all these builders and it just sets Daisy off every time they walk by she's she's very um, uh, you know protective of us and now that she can see these guys coming by every day it just drives her bonkers so I'm sorry for the noise. I hope that, that you've enjoyed this project. Uh, I am sorry that it's been so long since I've been on, guys. It's, as I said, life's just kind of uh, crazy again for us at the moment. So um, I will be back very soon. Take care of yourselves and keep crafting and keep smiling, guys. See you soon.